Tis the season for pumpkins. And if you don't find them delicious, leave them out. The squirrels will love them. But if you still have pumpkins left over, the perfect recipe for you today, pumpkin spiced bread with cheesecake filling. And our dessert diva, Annette Randall, is yes. back from an extended vacation. <laughs> did you miss me? Yes. I know you did. She's live I in studio. You. Really? Yeah. yeah that's I great. really did. Um, this is good. And you know what November is, don't yes, you, Tom? Yes. What is it? It's uh, National Albatross Month. No. Okay, maybe it's that. But it's Dessert Diva Goes Crazy with Pumpkins. All month I do all pumpkin recipes. Really? It's really a big hit. Oh, good. You didn't remember? Good. No, no, and especially this month because we have uh, we have five Mondays. Yes, well, lucky you. Yeah. Lucky, so lucky you. Okay, so, you know, there's a traditional pumpkin pie, but what I like to do is do some other desserts with the pumpkin. You like to shake it up. I like to shake it up a little. Now, with this, we did use canned pumpkin. We didn't, you know, it's very easy to, and there's yeah. simple instructions to but bake not the, the pumpkin pumpkins. Pie no, filling. we're not scooping it out, but we're, no. Tom, you listen. I remember that. You don't use the pumpkin pie filling. It's he canned listened. pumpkin. Yeah. It's so nice. That's right. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Some people listen, too. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so this is going to be really good. We're using the can. I think you're going to like it. All right, I'm well, let's not roll. sure, but I think you're going to like it. Well, we're going to start off with the cheesecake filling. I've got quarter cup, which is uh, no, four ounces, so right. half a block of cream cheese softened. Okay. I've got one egg, I've got a tablespoon of flour, and a quarter cup sugar. In that Okay, mix. and huh, we're just going to do that first. We're going to whip this up real fast. We're going to put just a little bit of vanilla in it. And since you work with cream cheese a lot, that you say it's a block, you like that at room temperature or something just to room work with? Room temperature, yes. This one wasn't quite as much, so it's not blending up, but it's still okay. It'll work. But, but yeah, it, you would Normally want, it'll be smooth. Absolutely. Right. You want room temperature. So, you beat this up. You can see it's kind of starting to come together. Yes, I can. It's starting to come together. <laughs> we don't have time. So, Shut but off I just that had mixer. To I had to show you that step. I okay? know. Now, what I have here, second, you're going to do the dry ingredients. You're going to have two cups of flour. We're going to do half a teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon baking powder. Right. We're going to do a pinch of salt. And then what I have here, because it's pumpkin spice bread, right. we're going to do a teaspoon and a half of allspice. Right. Mm, smell that? It smells like all the spices. Spicy. It is all... <laughs> See what you made just, me do? And put you're cinnamon just right near the bowl. So darn funny that you made me, you know. It's my we're gonna fault. do a teaspoon of ginger, and the ginger is really nice. It gives it that real extra spice. And you're just gonna kind of stir that on. Can up. I just throw one at you? Oh, would you ever use like a fresh grated ginger? Do you just absolutely. like absolutely? You know how just, I love to zest. Yeah. This is just, but you know, we didn't do that this no, time. Just but absolutely, just you curious. can do nutmeg for absolutely. Okay. So, okay, Tom. Yes. Because I know you've missed me, I'm going to let you crack the eggs. So you're going to preheat your right oven to 350. Okay. Yes, the whole egg in there. Okay. 350 degrees. Right. What we're going to do is a nine by five standard loaf pan. Uh -huh. We grease that with just a nice, you know, cooking spray. Right. Could you butter and flour it if you like. So thank you, and I have your little wet nap because yep. I'm always thinking of you. You're always prepared. Two eggs. And what I have here is a cup of brown sugar. Again, I like to use the brown sugar in the quick breads. I right. think that it's really, actually, we don't need to use this beater. Good. We're just going to whisk because I know you really, you really don't like the beater. The beater's a little loud you for a television my, viewing audience. You just like the sound of my voice. No, no, they find so. certain segments, certain parts of this segment <laughs> agitating enough without the beater. <laughs> That I'm not is saying, not funny. All I'm right, so we're stirring this you. up. Okay, we're doing a quarter cup of water. You need to make sure you keep the moisture in the right. bread. Quarter cup of canola oil. Nice, good, saturated fat that right. people don't have to holler about. No, no. They're, you know, going to stir that on up. Okay. Now, what I have here is this is one can of the pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin pure A, just right. like you said. I'm going to stir that up in here. Okay. I'm going to mix this up. Ooh, can you smell the pumpkin? No. Smells like Thanksgiving. It does. It does. Yeah. All right, so what I want you to do here is kind of add that to the bowl. Slowly. Slowly to the bowl. Go. Good job. Wow, is you're not even getting slow? enough. No, you're doing perfect. Okay. I'm going to stir that up. Right. Flour all over because that is the way we That's like how we it. Cook. Yeah. That's the way we yeah. like it. I mean, you know, if it's uh -huh. not messy, it's, yeah. if it's not messy, it's not good. That's no. right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is fold in a half a cup of walnuts. I'm folding. Oh, roughly just dump chopped. Them in, huh? Now, if you do like your things, you know, a little bit nuttier, of course you can put more. But I'm just sticking with half a cup. I think it makes for a nice balance. And you can also chop those nuts the way you like them, like finer, <laughs> bigger, smaller. There's the options are absolutely endless. I think you're just being ornery because you really did miss me. So who's being ornery? It's just oh, a nobody. suggestion, a yeah. tip, a question. That's, that's good. Mike's All right. So now what we're gonna do is put spread half into the pan. Right. Just gonna see it's nice and thick. Oh, it's gonna be delicious okay. when it cooks up. Got a scoop though. 
Why? Because you ran out of time. Really? The weather and traffic guys are over there. Let's go. Hi, guys. Kinda... Um, Chris Tomer's excited about this. But he's also okay. doing this. He said he likes pumpkin. All right, so look, we're doing cheesecake filling. Mm -hmm. You just kind of spread that Make on. Make it a layer. Make it a layer, just kind of gently. Yeah. It's good to the last it drop. Yeah. Now we're going to do, of course, is put this on top. You're going to bake this little baby. Right. For 50 minutes, 50 to 55. It's going to plump in the, in up. the old 350? Nice and golden. Yep. <laughs> Yes, I said that already. Okay, I was. We're just gonna spread this. It's gonna plump up nice and beautiful, golden brown. What does it look like Let at the end? Cool. At, at the end, it looks like that. Like that one? Isn't that beautiful? Well, there you go. Good enough to eat. You, you know what? A little bit of powdered sugar on top, cinnamon, and you're good to go. I'm gonna put this recipe on our website at tothedeuce.com. And don't uh, forget to read my article in the Boulder Weekly or boulderweekly.com. Who would forget that? Um, uh, click you. on news and then go to Dessert Diva and you get the recipe right here. That's right. Thank you, Danette. Thanks, Tom. Look forward to tasting that. And right now we go over to uh, Chris and Hank who are stalking the uh, Dessert Diva <laughs> right now. <laughs> Danette's right, though. Pumpkin, yum. Yeah. Love that kind of stuff. We've got 30s outside right now, headed for the 40s, and that's it. So not as warm as it was over the weekend. 20s and